fans, welcome back to Fuzzy TV, the home of soccer fuzz, where I bring you transfer news, highlights, and everything. Sorry for not posting Premier League highlights week one because FA took it down from my YouTube. So pretty soon there's going to be a site called Soccer TV. Uh, my bad, guys. TeamSoccerTV.com is going to be a legit site where you go on to watch all the highlights, all the news, all the transfers, and my videos on there too. So if you're at work, come and catch up. Anyways. Let's start with the first transfer news. Work QPR's midfielder Grant Arrow has officially signed a deal with Real Sociedad for a full loan one season. This man came over last season, didn't do so good, got relegated with the team, and now going back to Real Sociedad to Spain where he's going to do great. I believe in him. Right, so Schalke has officially agreed to deal with Bato's uh, winger, uh, Stalker. He's only 24, he only cost him $6 million. Awesome, man. All right, so Luis Gustavo has dropped Arsenal, has dropped PSG, Barcelona, and he went to Wolfsburg. Why? Why did he drop all the big teams? Again, this whole season of transfers, all the big players drop in Premier League. I don't get it. Explain to me. Comment below. If you like my channel, subscribe. All right, so Guarín is really happy about the new signing for Inter, and guess who it is? Rolando. So the new defender coming into Inter will create a stronger defense for Inter and Inter might actually fight for Scudetto this year. What do you guys think? Does Inter have a chance of winning Serie A this year with Napoli and Juventus and Milan becoming the big giants of Serie A? We'll see what happens to Inter Milan. I hate him though. Anyway, so Fulham has signed Darren Bent on a season-long loan. This is a great deal for Fulham with Berbatov together. These guys will dominate this year. I believe in it. Alright, so Chelsea's and Manchester United's extra ex uh, target Falcao has gotten into some troubles. Oh, yeah. So there's tax problems going on there. And the player is in big trouble. The team is in big trouble. They had to pay $71 million fine for Falcao. So the player might actually have to leave the team. But I believe he's going to stay with the Giants. And he's going to be the man for Monaco, right? What do you guys think? Was that like the dumbest deal that Monaco ever done? Paid $50 million for this player? Is he worth all this drama? You know, there was a drama where he wasn't the right age. He was older than he appears he is. It's just a bunch of bull crap. Oh, and another thing. Comment below and tell me, will Monaco win uh, League A? Alright, so... Pablo Osvaldo has officially rejected the move to Southampton because he's hoping that Tottenham will offer him a spot to go to Tottenham. I think that would be awesome. Pablo Osvaldo is a great striker, still 27, still got a lot of talent in him. I hope he leaves to a better team. So, it's official. Rodgers has officially made another signing, but it's a long signing. Sissoko has agreed to the uh, contract deal with Liverpool. He's going to Liverpool this season. Stronger defense, stronger team, stronger Premier League run for Liverpool. I believe in it. All of us believe in Liverpool. We'll never walk alone, all right? All right. Well, hope you guys enjoy my news. Hope, in, uh, hope you guys enjoy my transfers and highlights and everything. Keep on subscribing. Come on. Let's enjoy everything I do. I bring you Bundesliga. Uh, I'll bring you Spanish League, and I'll bring you Serie A. Uh, I can't do the Premier League because of a bunch of restrictions. But, again, subscribe and watch my highlights, and wait for the channel, Team Soccer TV, pretty soon. See you later, and enjoy my news.